Hey, everybody. Reacting to the Shovel Knight soundtrack up next. Hey everybody, my name is Paul. This is the Techno Funk Boy channel. We're going to be looking at some uh, video game music today. So this was uh, this was suggested to me uh, on one of my prior videos. And you know, if you do have suggestions for uh, for some you know video game reactions for the future. Throw it down in the suggestion bar. This is going to be one that um, uh, that has way too many tracks for us to tackle the whole thing, uh, and so uh, please do keep in mind that you know unless it's like a truly truly old school soundtrack that uh, you know uh, is like a, a you know a NES uh, you know eight bit something that that only has a handful of tracks. I can't cover the whole thing, and so I do kind of skip around a little bit. If if you are looking, uh, if if you want me to to do that with a whole soundtrack, do that. Uh, let me know if there are particular tracks that you want me to really pay attention to. As in, don't skip the ending, you idiot. Uh, let me know that because um, uh, these these are the the first time that I am hearing these things, and so if there's something that happens at the end of the track. And I'm sitting there looking down a playlist of 25 tracks and I'm trying to get out of here, you know, in, in 20 minutes. It doesn't always work. So let me know that. Um, this is going to be weird. This is a modern game. I, I know. I know. I don't normally do that. You know, <laughs> um, uh, and, and I say that I say that loosely because this is uh, this is clearly a, um, a a game that embraces the um uh the the old school approach embraces the uh the the old uh, kind of 8 bit chip tune legacy we are talking about shovel knight so this uh the soundtrack is by uh by Jake Kaufman i'm going to put a link to his bandcamp because this is this soundtrack is offered at name your own price um now as always look when 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 an artist does that, please, please throw him a couple of bucks at least. Come on, um, uh, uh, you know, obvious, uh, obviously, this soundtrack is very highly regarded. It um, it was a lot of hard work, and and uh, and for uh, for that effort, uh, our. Our, our musician friends should be supported. And so I do encourage you, if you like this stuff, to go get the album. And I encourage you, when you do go get the album, to leave at least a few dollars there. Uh, uh, because this is this is a massive... Uh, th th like, uh, I, I haven't listened to it yet. I bought it. Um, but this there's 48 tracks on this thing. It's 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 incredible. So uh, we're going to get into it. We're not going to play the whole thing because it's... 40 tracks. Um, I, I did some, I did some little Googling and I found, uh, I found some, uh, some titles that are highly regarded. Um, uh, we're going to tackle three. So this is another thing that you can comment down below. If there are other tracks that I need to, I need to, uh, to hit next, I'll be happy to. Um, uh, and, and so like, uh, is, uh, I'm going to hold off on listening to the whole album, at least a little while to hear, to, to, to look at some of the comments to see if y'all want me to do a few more. Um, then it'd be, like I said, be happy to, and we will jump on that. So let's we'll start this off with, uh, with the main theme. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice, uh, um, that was a nice score change right there. I like this. That bass right there, yeah. Okay, we've taken the, the, the theme and now going into kind of a variation of it, that's nice.
Okay, a few thoughts right off the bat. Uh, first of all, killer rhythm, killer bass. All right, so uh, it, you know, um, I uh, this this feels. Um, uh, this feels like something that I would hear in Mega Man, um, uh, and not 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 as not as much because of the chord progressions, but because of the the intense rhythm, the 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 way the bass um, enters in there, the uh, just just the way the, the 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 channels all come together and 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 make a sound that's bigger than the the individual parts. Um, the melody itself, we have, we have, we, you know, a very. Uh, it's not, it's not only something that that kind of um, gets us revved up and ready to go, but it also is is a very heroic theme, and uh, and so um, yeah, I, I'm I'm. I'm I'm really liking that, and, and and kind of, and then we, we start uh, we start playing with the variations of of this theme, um, at you know uh, changing up some of the parts uh, and uh, in just doing more interesting things with it. I am digging this so far quite a bit. Is Bandcamp gonna? Okay. That climb, that um, the sharp climb, that's really cool. That part right there, I like. Yeah. There's so much going on there. Like there are times when 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 it's just straight. It's kind of straight driving where the uh, the 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 bass is just kind of um, punching the the root, uh, and, and it's very cool. But then there there are there are moments with more more variety and we, we, where we're getting kind of um, uh, like the the middle square uh, wave. Um, uh, you know, bouncing around a little bit, um, uh, doing doing arpeggios, and the bass is is uh, is doing is is adding more melody to it. Um, I'm 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 hearing the same thing, uh, you know, uh, in 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 kind of the rhythm, uh, the rhythm square track that is, uh, you know, is is. Kind of presenting presenting a theme and then and then switching it up as we're as we're drifting into a uh, like a, like a slightly different section and and having more uh, more variety uh, you know a wider range and that's that's really kind of opening up things um, we're, we're kind of going back and forth between a really 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 tight experience and then more uh, to a more expressive one uh, that uh, I I think this is a ton of fun. I think this is a ton of fun. So, um, we are, we're getting pretty close to the end. We should be able to finish this. That bass right there. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, all right. Um, so the next, um, the next one that I I uh, I I found that was very much liked is uh, "High Above the Land," the uh, flying machine. So.
That's good, Bella. That's nice. The rhythm on this song is fantastic. It, it's just, I mean, the melody's the melody's really good, but man, the rhythm just drives. Oh, that's good stuff. I, you know, um, I'm hearing elements in here that that I like that really do remind me of of like a Mega Man game, like kind of that Capcom sound, you know. But with a song that is that is not Mega Man, you know, it, I, I, um, uh, when I say that, I'm not saying that, you know, this could be inserted into a Mega Man game. I don't think it could be. Uh, it, it's not it's not that that kind of that kind of a song. It is um, uh, it, it is. It, it, it very, very much has a more, uh, you know, a fantasy, um, a heroic fantasy feel to it. But uh, I, it, it does, it does very much seem to me uh, that that Kaufman like drew a lot of influence from the, these great NES soundtracks of old, and uh, and so um, I, I, I say, I say that as a compliment. Um, the the uh, Capcom was always really good at rhythm. Um, and it's one of the things I really love about like the Mega Man soundtracks and stuff. Um, I, I recently kind of tore apart a Mega Man game. I'll link to up here um, that uh, you know kind of kind of tore apart how they put that rhythm together. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, uh, you know, I, I I it feels like Kaufman like really loved what he heard in those things and and is is um, is really trying to bring out that 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 great rhythm uh tradition here and uh the rhythm of this song is really really cool and um uh and it it and, and rather unique i i'm yeah i'm i'm really digging this song there are these slides in the bass that um Really, really cool. drum fill uh that happened just a couple of seconds that's really fun right there. That's so cool. That drum fill. That, that's really neat. That's really cool. 
Uh, I just noticed. I just noticed on the on the Bandcamp page. Uh, he also links to uh, an NSF file, which we would actually be able to tear apart and and listen to the individual parts. Um, so we might do that. That sounds fun. I, I I have not clicked that link, and so uh, I don't know if that's still uh, still good. But uh, I'm willing to bet that uh, I I can find it. So um, the other one is the actually probably the track that I heard that I saw most often on people's favorite tracks, and that is "Strike the Earth." Let's check this one out. Good film. That's cool. I love that. I don't know how he does that harmony right there. Um, I do want to take this track apart to find out. <laughs> I, that, this melody, that, I love, this is great. This is a great song. triangle for that uh, hard tom in that section. Love it. Chord, that, and that chord, that chord change right at the beginning of this, this, this kind of hook part gets me every time. It's such a good transit. Tra that one right there, that is so good. I am, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I love it. Um, uh, you know, the, uh, it, it, <laughs> um, I, I remember the suggestion is like, I know this isn't a retro game, but, uh, man, it feels like, it. yeah, it feels like, it feels, um, uh, <clears throat> this is somebody who, who clearly cares about retro gaming music and, 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 and um, 
uh, you know, uh, cl- clearly loves this. And um, the the amount of the amount of care and attention that you know I'm hearing in in just these three tracks, the the the, the attention to detail of the way the the different channels are interacting with one another and the way they move throughout the song to add real power to add um, uh, you know uh, just. Um, to kind of fill up the sound um, that is uh, that is that is that's really hard to do, you know, kind of an eight bit system. But um, uh, the, the, these were these were put together with, uh, with with great care and attention, and I uh, I loved it. I'm I'm looking forward to digging into more of this soundtrack. Um, the the link is dead. <laughs> the link is dead on the, on uh, Bandcamp uh, to the uh, to the NFS. Well, I'm gonna. We're gonna we're gonna do some googling, see if I can find it, uh, because the, uh, that that song in particular, "Strike the Earth," I kind of want to take apart. I want to see how that uh, the, how that uh, that feels um, uh, the individual channels. Um, but if there are other songs, like I said, I'm gonna hold off on listening to the rest of this until uh, until I I hear from y'all. If there are some particular songs, obviously I can't do the whole soundtrack. It's just there's too many tracks. Um, uh, uh, but if there's some particular tunes that you want me to to react to, throw them in there. Um, I, I, you know, I I think this would be worthwhile doing at least one more video. If if y'all have a lot more songs, I'll do more than one. And um, and uh, and then and then kind of when um, uh, we, we we've we've done we've done one or two more, then I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll probably just put this this soundtrack on repeat. This was this was great. This was great. All right. Um, <clears throat> Links are below. I will put a link to uh, to this Bandcamp uh, site. I do encourage um, I encourage you to to support uh, Jake Kaufman uh, in in this in this music. Um, uh, I, I I think it's I, I think it's re- re- remarkably nice to offer it at any price. Um, I'm after I'm listening to a few tracks now. I'm I'm regretting not uh, actually giving him more when I bought it. But, um, you know, please do check it out. Please do throw some money in uh, in there as well uh, for him to, to help support him and his efforts. Um, uh, other links are below uh, to buy uh, to my Discord page. You can come in. We we do talk about video game music quite a bit in there, as well as uh, just retro gaming in general, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> Links to my music are, uh, are 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 below. I'm also on Bandcamp, and um, and if you are interested in that, uh, please do check that out. Uh, I do have a um, I do have a Patreon that uh, kind of is is meant to su- is meant to kind of support these videos as well as the podcasts I'm on and as well as my music. And so, uh, joining the disc, uh, I'm sorry, joining Patreon, uh, is going to get you access to, uh, to my albums as well as early episodes of my podcasts and such. So I encourage you to, um, uh, of, of, of all those go ahead and jump. If you're on discord, please, please jump in. Uh, we, we have a lot of fun on, on, on discord. So, uh, we will, Catch y'all next time and uh, do appreciate it. And we'll, uh, we'll see y'all later. Bye.